When I was 10 years old, my father died from cancer. And my father died in 30 days, he died. He was just gone like that. 10 years after that, my mother died. And then that led me into the gym. It was almost like a therapy for myself. I found something that nobody could take away from me. I just took all the passion out into eating, sleeping, and training. I didn't want to go to school or anything like this because all the kids were laughing at me in school because I didn't have a father. But I had that gym, you know, and that gym taught me a discipline, it taught me sacrifice, and it just taught me how to trust my decisions. fortunate enough to be able to be one of the best at my job. I'm not looking for anything special. You know what I mean? I just want to be the best of a person that I can be. I tore my chest. I snapped my tendon, tore my chest with 300 kilos bench press. You know what they said? I'll never come back. I'll never be a bodybuilder. I'll never. This happened. After I got second place in my first semester, you know what happened? I was the first bodybuilder in the universe that ever came back from this and won a show. I won 23 shows after that. And it wasn't just the tear. I had major surgery. Like, I tore my pectoralis major minor and snapped my tendon in half. If I can make it through that and deal with that, I can almost do anything. driving you to do what you do in life. This is the most important thing. What drives you? Because what drives you will be an influence to someone else.